What up, y'all? What up? We finna jump into some Adam Calhoun. I think it's titled Huck Folger. Folger? I'm not sure on how to pronounce that last name, so forgive me. But how y'all feeling out there? It is 5, 11 a.m. in the morning, and your boy decided to do some reactions. Y'all know I had to get back on some uh, Adam Calhoun. Still not really... I'm going both ways with him. I don't do a lot of reactions with Adam Calhoun, but I, I like so far what I heard. It's just I'm still going, you know, I haven't, I'm undecided on how I truly feel about this man. I'm still trying to figure it out, y'all. I'm still trying to put the pieces together on what type of man he is. Like, is he, is he really about that? What he talk about, like, um. Up Church and all these other independent artists that I listen to who I consider to be, you know, real and passionate about, you know, life and, you know, people around them and how they approach every, you know, everyday circumstances. And I know I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I, I like Adam Calhoun. I still got to I still got to get a feel for him, though. But we finna jump into this next reaction. I hope y'all like it, and I hope y'all subscribe, support your boy. You know I'm trying to get to 10K. And without further, you know, without further ado, let's go. What is that, Huck Fogier? Fogier? I don't know how to pronounce that name. It is what it is. This genre of music is a landfill littered with trash. There's a new good man trying to take this to the main stage i'm here to take out the garbage Ooh. i know this was a few years back that that but that's hard right there he said as a few good men trying to take this to the main stage i'm here to take out the garbage Ooh. Basically what he's saying, y'all, you know, there's a lot of motherfuckers out there who put music out, but they ain't real about their life, so he, he here to make it be known. Y'all straight garbage. Ain't nothing about what y'all talk about, what y'all rap about is genuine. Nothing y'all talk about is real. Y'all straight trash. It's time to take it out. <laughs> I like that. Let's jump on this. This sound like it's already sound like it's going to be hard just based off what, you know, what I just read. I got a shirt like that. I don't wear it no more. It's up in there. I haven't worn that for a couple of years now. But this beat is sick. Let me make this crystal clear. This country rap ain't shit to hear. Y'all ain't moved in inch and years. Stuck in the mud, shit the gears. Hold just got like a dozen fans. No for fucking his cousin and talking shit for won't throw hands. You ain't a man, you a bitch, right? You buddy up and you switch side. Can't get nowhere so you dick ride. That's straight up. Midnight. Don't get me wrong, trying to put a song. But half of y'all can't write a song. The other half is doing shit. They build it up and you ruin it. It's time to man up. Already. Already. This is my shit. I ain't even heard the whole thing. This beat, I can't believe I never reacted to this or heard this. Damn, this one of the hardest beats I have heard from Adam Calhoun. This shit. Oh, I gotta take this back, y'all. I'm sorry. I know y'all are gonna be disappointed, but I gotta take it back. Mm. Mm. 
Keith says, time to man up, no more dick. I mean, what did he say? Time to man up, no more what? Why you on stage grabbing your dick? Hold on, let me Bring take that back. Right. Time to man up, no more bitch. Why you on stage grabbing your dick? That was hard. That was hard. He looked like a Nazi killer right there. I always talk about that picture with the American flag wrapped around him. I hate to say it. I ain't hating on him. Man. He just looked like a Nazi killer over there, y'all. For real. <laughs> but yeah, this was hard. I said this before. On my reaction, don't mess with them rednecks, man. Not not them deep in the wood rednecks, man. No, don't, don't mess with them. Y'all got to watch that comedy special with Eddie Griffin. He talked about that shit. Don't mess with them. It's good to have a redneck partner. A true, diehard redneck partner. It is, it's good to have those on your side. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always about having hood motherfuckers. Got to have some of them redneck hood motherfuckers too, man. Them boys don't play no games. <laughs> don't take it personal, y'all. Come on. I know a lot of y'all going to be like, uh, why he saying red? They call himself that. You know, it is what it is. We call ourselves the N word. You know, you got people just call. You know, it is what it is. But man, that shit was hard, man. That shit was hard. I'm, I know this is old, but damn, that shit was hard. I'm definitely about to put that in my phone. I always put like good music that I react to that I heard from the first time. I put it in my phone. Cause I, you know, I bump it in my car when I'm riding to work or wherever. I be going on the outside. Man, this shit was hard. That beat was sis. You know, I said sis, not serious. You know, you gotta say sis. You know, that's just how we talk. You know, it is what it is, y'all. But uh, I hope y'all feeling this, and I hope y'all feeling that reaction. And as always, it's your boy RDS. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. You know, I'm trying to get to 10k. You know, this is the Halloween month, my favorite time of the year. So I'm feeling good about myself. I'm feeling good about life right now. You know, my kid's birthday coming up on the 11th. So, you know, I got to feel, you know, I got to be happy about that. And as always, y'all, your boy is out of here. <laughs>